Allison. I'm Ava. We're with the Winkle, and today we are making an elevator. elevator. This is Ava's first time being on the Winkle, and are you excited? Yep. Yeah, I've known Ava like her whole life, and she is one of my Winkle kids, and she used to be one of my art students. Ava, what is your favorite Winkle project you've ever done? Um, a cr the crystal snowflake. Yes. The bunny painting. And yes. then this one, because I'm obviously in it. <laughs> the star of the show. Okay, shall we see what's in our kit today? Yeah, sure. Okay. In our kit today, we have a wooden dowel, two puff balls, two pipe cleaners, some glue, some string, two popsicle sticks, a push pin, and a binder clip, and some googly eyes. I love those googly eyes. They're always like, <laughs> they make everything come to life. On top of everything in your kit, you'll need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and you'll also need your winkle box. Now, if you don't have your winkle box or you're sharing winkle box with somebody else, then you need some other box. It could be a shoe box or anything like that, but it needs to be about as wide as this dowel that came in your kit. Not any wider. In fact, a little less. less would be great. And then we're ready to get started. Ava, what we're making today is an elevator and that uses a pulley system. Do you know what a pulley system is? Like a well? A well, oh, like a well that lowers the bucket down into, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's the same idea where the pulley lowers the bucket down into the water and then you're able to pick up the water. Now, the reason that works so well is the pulley takes a lot of the weight off of the person. So mm -hmm. you can actually use a pulley to carry weight that you wouldn't normally be able to carry. A pulley system is simply a collection of one or more wheels over which you loop a rope to make it easier to lift things, like a well, like you said. The pulley allows an object to be lifted with less force. So our elevator makes a pulley by looping the string over the stick and the machine works as we twist the handle, making the stick turn. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, interesting. Shall we make the elevator? Yes. Let's do it. If you're using your Winkle box, you're actually going to take this flap, the part that folded into your box, you're going to take this flap and cut it off. If you're not using a Winkle box, you need to find some sort of flap on your box, some piece of cardboard that you can use to cut it out. So we're just gonna follow along this line, and if you're younger, your muscles and your fingers might not be very strong to do this, but you can still do it. I had my little um, six-year-old daughter do it, and she did just fine. Just follow along that line, and you have to go slowly when you get to the middle. And then when you get to the middle, actually just turn it around, Turn it around and you can cut it from the other side. <laughs> okay, so we have our flap. This is going to be our elevator with, where our little people are going up and down. We need to bend back the edges of this flap. We're going to mark it at one and a half inches. So we have our ruler and we go one and a half is right between one and two. Yep, and go to the other side measure one and a half inches. Okay. And go straight down that line, straight down this line. Okay. Now it's going to be really hard to bend this cardboard and get a really nice crease for that elevator, the sides of the elevator. So we're actually going to take our push pin and do what's called perforating. So we're going to make little holes all along that line and then it's gonna make it really easy to bend. Okay, we perforated our line on both sides, so we're just going to kind of bend it right there where you can see those holes. Along the other side where there's the crease, we're going to perforate a line across there. And that gives us such a nice bend. Look at that. Woo, she's sharp. Yeah. Now we have our elevator platform and we're going to glue our popsicle sticks underneath. The 
popsicle sticks are going to help add balance and weight to the bottom of this elevator. Without these popsicle sticks, the elevator would, would be flopping around. Yeah, it would be flopping around. So I'm going to put one closer to this side, and then I'm going to take my second one. And close, uh, closer to the other side? Yep, closer to the other side. You're uh, so you're... smart. How did you know that? <laughs> I do not know. Okay, we're gonna set that aside and work on our box. Our pulley is going to be inside this box at, towards the top. Now we want a very even pulley. We don't want it to be like this or else the elevator would be like all wonky. So we want it nice and straight. And to get something nice and straight, we have to use a little bit of measuring, a little bit of math. So yep. get your ruler back out. So we want it close to the top, but we want it even. So we're going to put our number two right here at the end of the box and measure a little dot right there. And then we also want it even this way. So we measure across the box, it's two inches. What's the middle of two inches? What's half of two? Half of two. One. <laughs> Yes. I'm bad at math. So you line the ruler up where that first dot was, and then you go over to where it says one, and that is where, where your hole is going to be. Now, some kids have a hard time poking that hole. It depends how sharp your pencil is, really. So you can push it with the push pin, and then push it through with your pencil if you need to. Sometimes the push pin can get you started. My pencil was sharp enough, and my muscles are strong enough, so I just pushed it all the way through with my pencil. Maybe. Now you're gonna do that on the other side. I'm gonna show you again. I'm measuring down two inches, so I'm putting the two inch there, going down this way, and then I'm lining. I'll make that a little bigger so you can see that. Anyway. Then I'm lining my ruler up with that mark that I just made. Okay, so see how my ruler is lined up with this mark right here? Mm-hmm. Then I go to one inch, because that's halfway, and that's where my hole is gonna be. Okay, I just wanna show you guys, my box is tall right now, okay? Because Ava just went to go measure and poke a hole on this side, and that's not gonna work because our dowel isn't long enough right there. So, you have to make sure you're going the length of your box that your dowel is going to fit. See that? You're going to have just enough space to move that dowel and have a little crank on this side of your box. Mm -hmm. So stand your box up nice and tall, and that's the side you're gonna measure, this tall side right here. And if you make a mistake, it's totally okay. You can make a hole wherever you want in your box. If you made it the wrong way, you can always turn it. If you messed up, you can turn it again. So you have lots of chances to get the hole just right. Good job, Ava. So she has it on the tall side of the box, okay? Her hole's right here. She went down two inches, and then side to side, she measured at one inch, because that's right in the middle. So she's gonna do the other side. Okay. Yeah, so now you can put your dowel in. You can put it all the way across your holes. It's gonna be a nice pulley. Now we're going to take our binder clip and you've got to have to pinch it really strong. Strong fingers, you can even use both hands if you want. And you don't even have to open it up all the way. Just enough to get it on that dowel and then close up the binder clip. And then that way, look at that, it's going to spin. Okay, set your box aside and we're going to poke our holes in our elevator. Get ready for some great measuring skills here. You're going to take your ruler and find the half inch mark. What's a half of an inch? Do you know? This is one inch right here where it says one, that's the long line. The first long line that you come to right here, okay? That's a half of an inch. See how it's right in the middle? So mm -hmm. there's an equal amount on that side and that side, that's a half. Think of a half of a sandwich. Half, okay. So we're going to measure down a half an inch. Go from the edge of your flap in a half an inch. And then you're going to turn your ruler and make a straight line across, okay? With that line, you're going to again measure a half of an inch from this side. Half an inch in, you're gonna poke a hole, and then half an inch on the other side, 
poke a hole. Okay, now I'm gonna make those holes a little bit bigger because I have to thread my string through that. You don't wanna poke a hole as wide as we did for the, for the dowel, ouch, for the pulley, because that'll be too big. But see how I kind of put my pencil uh, about halfway through. It's kind of like where your pencil line is, you know, when you sharpen your pencil. Yes, should exactly. There. Should be there. Okay, I'm gonna show everybody on the other side. You're going to measure halfway down, turn your ruler, draw a line across, and on that line, that's the line we're gonna measure a half an inch. So a half an inch there. And, and then, then half an inch there. Yes, half an inch from the other side. And then we're going to push our pencil through, making those holes just a little wider. Okay, now we're going to take our string and fold it in half, meaning these two ends should be the same, and you make a loop on this side, and we're gonna cut it in half. So you just take your scissors right on that loop and snip. You're going to put your string through these holes. Now this can be hard because a string usually doesn't wanna just go through a hole just like that. If it does, you're lucky. There's a couple of tricks. You could get it wet and it could go through that way. But what I find is if you bend it a little bit, like make a little loop right there, you can usually push it through. I guess. If you can't, yes, you already got it. If you can't push it through with your fingers, you can push it through with your pencil, okay? Now the same string, you're going to take it and loop it through on the other side. Okay, so it's easier if you thread them both from the side that you poked the hole in. Because if you try and go from the back, that hole is just not as easy to poke the string in. Okay. So it should look like this. Yeah, it should look like this. Turn the flap over and pull the string through, not all the way, just enough that you can tie a knot right here. Now, some of you are really good at tying knots and you know exactly what to do, but those that are not good at knots, just watch me. I'm going to put the short string underneath the big string, okay? This is the big string, see that? The short string is underneath, and it's gonna go around, and then it's gonna go through the loop, like that, and I'm gonna pull it. So we have the short string and the big string. The short string is going to go over the big string, then through this little circle that you've made here, and pull it tight. Now we've got to put our string through this side. So it's the same thing we just did. I'm going to make a little loop in my string, poke it through with my pencil, pull it through, and then take my other side, make a little loop in my string, poke it through with my pencil, pull it through. Now we're going to take our string and attach it to our pulley. See how our flap fits so perfectly inside this box? If your flap doesn't, you're going to need to adjust it a little bit. If it's too big, you're gonna to have to bring those flaps in a little more. If it's too narrow, like it's like this, you're gonna to need to bring the flaps out a little more because you do need the flaps to give some stability to that elevator. Okay, now we're going to tie a knot around our dowel. So same idea as before. Right? Now we want the same amount of slack on this side that we have on the other side because we need them to be even, even Steven. So try your best to get them, like you wouldn't want this side to be super tight and this side super loose. Mm -hmm. You want them about the same amount of looseness. That's called taunt, like how taunt you're going to make your string. Now, as long as they're pretty similar, that's all you really need because we are going to glue these into place. So if you adjust your string to make each side about the same, you can kind of fidget with it a little bit. See how they're both taunt like this? We're going to add a little bit of glue to each knot, to each side. 
add it to the stick and then you can kind of pull the string over it and that should keep it pretty good into place. Same on this side, add some glue, bring the string over. And let it dry, let it dry into place right there. Cut off your excess string so that it looks more professional. Oh, like you're a professional elevator maker. Okay, while our elevator and our pulley system is drying, we are going to make our little passengers. So, Ava had a great idea that you could use like Legos or Barbie or something like that, which is a great idea. We're going to make little puff ball and pipe cleaner passengers. The passengers are fun to play with the elevator, but uh -huh. they're also important because they add stability. So we're gonna try and play with the weight of the elevator. If you put everybody on one side, what's gonna happen? It's just gonna... Yeah, so we kind of have to spread them out evenly so our elevator can lift up and down smoothly. I think I told you before, I love these little googly eyes because they just are, they make everything come to life. I'm just gonna put a little line across my puff ball and add two googly eyes. Do you think you can make a person's body out of this pipe cleaner? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh, let's see it then. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make a person, I'd like a stick figure out of this here. So we're going to make a head and then wrap around that little tail right there. Then you're going to make the body and make a little neck, arms, so that you can do so far, right? A neck and arms. And then with pipe cleaner, you always want to twist it. Remember, there's a wire in there, so you always want to twist it when you want to get something into place. Then we're going to have that be one of the legs, and this pipe cleaner is going to come back up the body, squeeze that leg together, twist it right here, and look at that! That is awesome. Well, he's gonna be sitting on the elevator, so I'm gonna bend his little legs like that so he can sit on the elevator. Now we get to glue all our guys in our elevator. I'm gonna add some glue. I'm gonna glue down my puffball people first, and my uh, pipe cleaner people are gonna go on this side. Now, if your elevator people don't look exactly like mine, that's totally okay. Just remember, you need something on your elevator to give it some weight so they, your elevator doesn't flop around. Oh, husband and it's a little family. That's so cute. Okay, should we see if our elevators work? I don't know which way. Either way. Up they go. Yes, that's so cute. Okay, and down, 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 down. I can't wait to see what everybody at home made. If you have a grown up, take a picture or a video of your elevator, post it on social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate so we can see what you made and we can cheer you on for all your amazing creations. Mm -hmm. I hope you had so much fun today, everybody. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Ava, for being my special guest helper. High five. And we'll see you next time. put on deodorant today? Yes, I put on deodorant today. Good. This is going to be <laughs> re flapping me in the face. Now we have our elevator, elevator. Elevator. The middle. Oh, that's, ugh. Okay. Cut. Huh.